Well, Hannah, you gotta get on the walkway, hon. Where are you going? <laughs> Got a bucket full of strawberries? Uh, yeah. It's empty. All right, let's go get them. Hey, y'all. Hey. I'm Hannah. And I'm Jeremy. And we are the Savory Suitcase. The Savory Strawberry. We are at Starkey Blueberry Farm. Yeah. So this is the first year that Starkey Blueberry Farm is actually offering strawberry picking. Normally they just do- You pick blueberry picking yeah right yeah you pick like you come out here and you pick we pick see strawberries blueberries now they're doing strawberries so we're finding some really really nice ones it looks like you know it's a pretty nice day out so there's some people they're limiting yep, only um, 60 people. only 60 people at a time you got to make a reservation which you can do straight from their website it was super easy six bucks a pound man look at some of these beauties yeah nice long stems if that's what you want like I, I like I think having the long stem on looks really nice um, but you could certainly bring little shears and clip them right at the stem, whatever you want. But yeah, there's some nice ones. Yeah, we came out here to pick some uh, strawberries because we're going to take them home and we're going to make keto strawberry, strawberry shortcake. shortcake. Yeah. Really, the strawberries aren't keto themselves because they have natural sugar, but the cake itself, the biscuit cake. It's okay. We're not counting that part. Oh, I'm like, why are you shushing? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, saying I'm like, I'm outside. <laughs> This is where I'm allowed to be loud. I can <laughs> no, be loud. No, don't tell them about our secret strawberry sugars. Oh. It's okay. But yeah, we wanted to <gasps> do a little agro-tourism. Support local farms for yeah, sure. absolutely. It's a lot of fun. They told us that you should only pick the red ones. The redder, the better, they said. Um, unlike like bananas and peaches, they don't continue to ripen after you've picked them. So if you pick a green strawberry, it will always be a green strawberry. So we're trying to find some good ones. Looks like they've got a lot of them. I think this is close to the end of their season, but it looks really nice. It's gonna rain soon, but hopefully we'll be out of here by then. <laughs> other side next to the green one how do we feel it's like a good one that is a good one so i think we've got about a pound or two of strawberries i think so yeah we so, got a good amount so we're gonna oh hello hello yeah check them out oh uh, yeah ah. so we're gonna head back to our kitchen and we're gonna make some strawberry shortcake We just got back from Starkey Blueberry Farm and we have rinsed our strawberries that we picked. We've cut the tops off and we cut them into pieces and tossed them with a little bit of um, Swerve granulated sweetener. Uh, you could use Splenda granulated, whatever alternative sweetener you'd like. And we just let those sit to the side and they get nice and thick and syrupy. They are going to give off some liquid, but that's what we want. So you're going to toss those with just a little bit and let them sit to the side. So I'm actually using the same book that I used last time when we made the strawberry cheesecake bars right up here. We're going to put that video. Um, and, this is, and so shout out to my father-in-law, Mark, who I did leave out last time, but he also got me this book. It wasn't just my mother-in-law. So we're going to do the strawberry shortcake recipe using our strawberries from our fresh local farm. Um, we have a few ingredients. Okay. Very simple. We have one cup of blanched, finely ground almond flour. We have one teaspoon of our granulated sweetener. We're using Swerve. We have a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and we have a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Um, additionally, we have the egg whites of four eggs. So we have four egg whites separated, leave out the yolks. And then we also have two tablespoons of cold, cold, cold butter. Very important. Um, it's also important to use unsalted butter because we're adding our own salt. We want to have control over the salt level um, of the, when you're, when you're baking and things, it's most ideal to use unsalted butter so we can control the saltiness. 
Okay, so because we want our egg whites and our butter to be cold, I'm gonna grab this from the fridge and we're gonna get started. So this recipe actually does call for a food processor, um, which will make it a lot easier. It's not 100% necessary, but it'll make a nice, smooth, even product. So ideally, a food processor would be, would be the best here. And into our food processor, we're gonna add all of our ingredients. We're gonna take our almond flour. I'm actually using an Apaleo blend. Um, again, the King Arthur, we've used this before in other videos. Um, so this is actually an almond coconut blend. However, the original recipe calls for just a blanched almond flour, but we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how this goes. We really liked this flour is what we use actually in the strawberry cheesecake bars as well. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna take our sweetener alternative. We've got our baking powder, our salt, our kosher salt, and then only our butter. You're gonna leave the egg whites out for now. Okay, so you wanna move quick because your butter's nice and cold as well as your egg whites. Okay, so we've got our dry ingredients and our cold butter in. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lid. And we're just gonna give it a couple of quick pulses to break up the butter. So once we've broken up our butter into small little pea-sized pieces, we're gonna add our egg whites through the little chute in the top. So we're gonna pulse that all together now that our egg whites are in the food processor, just until a dough combines, until it all comes together. remove our bowl and let's scrape down the edges and just combine everything together just make sure that we have a nice dough it's gonna be wet it's gonna have some moisture to it which is what we want um, now the recipe says in the directions it says to scoop your dough with either a measuring cup or an ice cream scoop uh, the only ice cream scoop I have is a little bit bigger so I'm only gonna probably get two biscuits out of this, which is fine, because there's just the two of us. So you can shape, you can make these the size of whatever you want. If you'd like to go minis, you can do like a little tablespoon, uh, but we're gonna use, I'm just gonna divide this in half, and we're gonna make two nice rustic biscuits. Okay, so it actually turns out that the scoop I had, it didn't look like much dough, but it was actually enough to get four biscuits out of it. So we split it up four ways pretty evenly. So you wanna have your oven preheated to 400 degrees, and then we're gonna throw these guys into the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. Every oven is gonna be a little bit different. My sous chef back here is cleaning up behind me. Um, every oven's gonna be a little bit different. If you have a convection oven where it has a fan, um, you wanna drop your temperature by 25 degrees to compensate for the extra heat that the fan causes. Um, and you might also need to come down a couple minutes. So, with caution, 12 to 15 minutes. So our shortcakes came out of the oven. We're gonna let them cool for a couple more minutes. So in the meantime, we're gonna make our whipped cream. So we're just take some cold, oops. So we're just gonna take some cold, heavy whipping cream. We're gonna add it into a bowl. You're gonna add just a little splash of vanilla extract. And then you're gonna add sweetener to your desire. So if you like it a little sweeter, you can add a little more. Um, I like it a little less sweet um, to let the, really the sweetness of the strawberries come through, but it does need a little bit. So we're gonna add a little bit of uh, powdered swerve, confectioner's swerve. And if you have a mixer, you can use a mixer, but we're gonna go old fashioned way and we're gonna mix it uh, by hand with a whisk. Okay, so I like to leave my whipped cream just a little bit soft um, versus it being really firm, but again, you can prepare it to your liking. So now that we have our strawberries that have been sitting in our Splenda and we have our cream is nice and freshly whipped, and our biscuits are out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and take our shortcake biscuit 
And I'm going to use a serrated knife. Any sharp knife that you have will work well. And we're going to go ahead and cut this guy in half. Okay, and we're going to take the bottom, put the bottom on our plate. And I'm going to take some of the strawberries and just a little bit of the liquid so that the liquid soaks into the bottom of our cake. We're going to put that on our biscuit. And you want to take a nice, generous um, heaping spoonful of your freshly whipped cream. The more the merrier, in my opinion. And then we're going to take just a little bit of the strawberry liquid. And then you're going to place your biscuit top. And there we go. Now I think Hannah should come back. I think Hannah's going to come back and we're going to give this a shot. We're going to taste it and see how it is. So our shortcake is all finished. I thought maybe we could give it a shot. What do you think? So there's a biscuit on the bottom. Gotta try a strawberry first. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And that liquid, the strawberry liquid soaked into the biscuit on the bottom, making it nice and tender. Yeah, spoiler alert, we actually went to the farm like almost a week ago. So the strawberries did get frozen mm -hmm. and then we thawed them, but I think that helped. Well then, the biscuit's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah. Um, the nice biscuit is nice and the biscuit is nice and light. Crumbly. It's crumbly, but it actually holds its texture, which stuff that's made with almond flour or even coconut flour. Mm -hmm. Hello. Cool on here. Um, stuff that's made with almond and coconut flour doesn't typically have a good structure. This actually works out pretty good. I think it's that butter. The protein in the egg white, I think, is what's binding there. The only thing I would say is it could probably use a little bit more overall sweetness. Yeah. Um, the biscuit is very not sweet. Like I wonder at if all. it only had like a tablespoon of the swerve. Which is fine was... for the biscuit, I think, but maybe the strawberries, maybe a little bit more Splenda or maybe yeah. make the cream a little sweeter. I only added a couple of tablespoons to the strawberries, so. Because eating the biscuit with the cream without the strawberry, no sweetness at all. Yeah. Um, so again, you adjust it to your liking. If you want a little sweeter, go a little sweeter. Um, you can even dust the top with some powdered swerve. Yeah. To give it a nice little hit of straight sugar. Sugar. Um, but that's a great texture on that biscuit. I mean, I, you know, I think it really worked out pretty well. Yeah. Doesn't even, truthfully, even doesn't have that like keto sort of flavor to it. Yeah, I think the King Arthur flour, I think really makes a, a good Big difference. alternative because it's really a combination of almond flour and coconut flour. Mm -hmm. Very good. But you get the coconut, just a little bit. Yeah, which I like, so. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting a little restless. So mm -hmm. I think it's time that we Pack sous chef is ready for dinner. Yep. Um, so thank you so much for joining yeah. us. We hope you liked this kind of farm to table experience. Yeah, I hope you really enjoyed it. Let us know down in the comments below uh, what you guys thought of this. If you'd like to see us do it again, um, Starkey Blueberry Farm typically does blueberry picking, yeah. as we mentioned earlier in the video. They so it'll be just a couple more weeks, and they yep. should have some blueberries. So, so. maybe you'll uh, maybe we'll do another little video. We'll go back and and maybe we can do some sort of a keto fruit crisp or something. Mm. Let us know what you'd like to see with blueberries. Maybe yeah. we could do keto pancakes with blueberries. Mm. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see. Drop it down in the comments below, and we'll uh, we'll come back and do that for you. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. Bye. The savory straw, is it a sweet strawberry? It's sweet. We are at Find Starkey. Um, we are at Starkey Blueberries. The Starkey Blueberry Ranch. Our uh, You Pick Pumpkin Patch yeah. video that we did. Uh, where did we do that? We where did we? that up in... Not here, in Michigan. In Donellan. Oh, in Donellan. I, I don't know what's happening. We're de devolving. Okay. Maybe let's stop that. What's the oven get set to? 400. Say you're gonna do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold oh on. Oh my gosh. All right, it's recording, so come here. Come here. Over there? No. <laughs> uh, and we tossed them with some, we used swerve, granulated swerve. Oh, I'm lying, this is confectioners. So it's supposed to be granulated, isn't it's it? It's fine, we don't have any. We don't have any granulated. Okay. Start the whole thing. Start, start oh my god, I did so good! Uh, <laughs> finally! Oh, I'm getting work like this.